Now you might be wondering, well, Mike, then do you recommend getting this or this? Hey, what's happening, guys? Mike Moo here. Hope you guys are doing well during this pandemic. Uh, I just got the new vlogger kit. This is the 2020 kit from Sony. This one is really, this one came packaged with the new ZV-1, which I'm recording this video on right now. And this kit has a grip, basically, that gives you Bluetooth remote control over your camera and just basically functions as a pretty fancy selfie stick. Now, before we go any further, there's a couple things you need to know. All right, number one, this is only gonna be compatible with these devices right over here. So if you don't have, currently as of today, which is June 18th, if you don't have the new Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV, A7R Mark IV, A7R Mark III, A7 Mark III, Alpha 9, Alpha 9 Mark II, uh, the Sony 6600, 6400, 6100, RX100 Mark VII, or RX0 Mark II, or the new DC-ZV1 that I'm recording on right now, this isn't gonna work for you at all. Now, I imagine future models, the newer stuff that's coming out, it's not gonna be compatible as long as it has that Bluetooth. So this, this kit actually is a whole vlogger kit, and what, what I had separately and what I used with my Sony Alpha 7 Mark III was this by itself. It came with a case, and that itself was about $140, if I remember correctly, plus tax, around $150 as well. So this is a vlogger kit that actually comes with basically a really fast 64 gigabyte SD card. So it has a, write, a read speed of 270 megabytes per second and a write speed of 70 megabytes per second. That's gonna be enough uh, for most, let me think about um, all the aforementioned cameras here in terms of recording at 4K at 100 megabits per second, okay? So that's gonna work with all of them. And um, yeah, that's the kit. Now, if you can get this with just an additional $100 on top of the ZV-1 kit, that makes the most sense. If you're looking to get this completely separately, it's gonna be an extra $150, $150 separately. And whether or not it's going to make sense for you, well, we're gonna find out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and show you exactly the, uh, the unit. Now I, did, I made a, a separate video about the one that I use currently with my Sony RX100 series cameras, and that's gonna be compatible with everything. And that is, um, I'll link the video down below, but that's this little guy. See this little guy? This one connects via micro USB and is compatible with just about every single uh, Sony camera that has a micro USB port and a multi-interface uh, multi interface port. And that's just basically all of them, okay? So this one is called, and I have a link down below for that. This one is called the VCT SGR1. And this is what I carry around every day um, when I'm doing a self-vlogging or I just want to have a mini tiny little tripod to go ahead and mount my Sony RX100 series cameras. So these will work with that. And you know, it's, it's worked out pretty well. It's got real simple buttons. I'm not going to go further details in that, but it's got the record, the photo, and, uh, and also the zoom in, zoom out functions. And that seems to work very fine with my RX100 series cameras. So this one, of course, so out of this box comes this, which you can pay for this separately. I'll have links down below about the current pricing on this one. So it comes with that. And then it also, of course, comes with a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card. And that's this one right here, this one. So the separate pricing for this, I'll have it uh, linked over here. This has only a one year warranty, which is not that great, especially when you consider uh, the Korean manufacturers have something that's quite a bit longer, five years or more. But it's still, it's still nice that, the, that they have this for that price and they didn't basically charge you much more extra, but you're still paying a pretty penny for, for this. Okay, so that's a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card. That's gonna work just fine with all the Sony cameras. But this is the main point of what you're paying for. This is the course, the GP-VPT, uh, VPT2BT, BT for, for the uh, Bluetooth. Okay, so the, I wanna show you the size comparison. Inside, we have, of course, the actual unit itself. User guides in multiple different languages. 
So if I don't know if I'm going to be vlogging or not, and I just want an extra grip or small tripod, I'm going to bring this little guy here with the micro USB. I don't have to worry about any pairing whatsoever. I just plug it in and it's ready to go. Now, if I know that I'm definitely going to be vlogging, I'll bring this one. It's, it's a lot bigger. I mean, just this itself takes up more space in my camera bag than the, than the ZV-1 or the RX100 series. All right, so this is pretty substantial. It's pretty hefty. Check out the weight of this. This feels like it weighs just as much, if not more, than the RX100. Visual comparison on the size, this right here. I can hold it out like this, all right? One other advantage, of course, of the bigger one, the Bluetooth one, is that I can hold it out just an extra two inches more. So that's going to help a bit since the wide angle coverage of the ZV-1 and RX100 series starts out at 24 millimeters, whereas a lot of vloggers really like the wide angle look that you get. So this, I mean, I, I can hold this much further. Right here. I can hold this much further. It feels more stable in the hand. So if you're worried, if, if, especially if you're going to put a cage around your ZV-1 or your RX-100 and you're going to add on lights and other accessories, uh, I, would, you, I would definitely use this bigger one, especially if I'm going to set it down somewhere. And it's important to note um, that obviously this is Bluetooth, so I don't actually have to be touching a camera in order to start recording and stop recording. I just press the button right here and that would immediately control the camera that I'm connected to right now. So there's that important benefit uh, to know. Now, typically, typical Bluetooth range is gonna be about 20 to 30 feet. Uh, of course, that's gonna really vary depending on where you're located, right? If you're in an area that has a lot of 2.4 gigahertz signals, it is, the range is gonna be diminished. So, guaranteed connection is a direct connection here, micro USB, but this is much more convenient. It's much more stable. It's a lot bigger and it's also a lot more expensive but this is going to work with all future sony cameras whereas this guy is not going to work with any usb uh, c cameras unless you have an adapter so i've yet to try this with an adapter i imagine this will work but this will work with all micro usb uh, sony cameras just right out of the box you don't need to update any firmware or anything this one you do need to update the firmware but who's not running the latest firmware nowadays so that's not that big of a point the installation of this the battery compartment is just down here um, there's a lock switch right over here just slide that over I slide it over at the same time that I open it so it's, it's basically a two-finger operation um, it's a lot harder to show you and record at the same time but this flips right out and I just stick in the, uh, the coin cell the coin cell the plus side faces up stick it in there and then you go into the menu system and go ahead and set it up that way so I have a separate video that shows you how to pair this unit with your Bluetooth new grip. It's really very simple, so check that out. But I wanna talk about a little bit more about the functionality of this guy. Okay, so um, three legs, of course. And when you press this little button here on the side, that releases the tilt, see that? So it releases this tilt function here. When you press it down, it has different angles that you can, you can set the tilting to. Now it's not an infinite adjustment, but there's definitely more degrees than the other one, than, the, than this one. There's definitely more adjustment than this one. And then over here on this side, this just allows you to adjust the tension of, the, of, of when you're making these adjustments and locking it down. All right, another thing, um, when there's also a little button over here in the front, press that and you can rotate the top. So if you're doing selfie mode versus rotating it around the other side, you can do that with this whole handle by itself without having to unscrew it. Whereas on this one, this one you can't. This one you basically have to release the screw a little bit, rotate the camera around. So that's that helps a little bit in the workflow. So overall, it, it, it's a better design. So it, it's not just all going to the whole Bluetooth and the ruggedness of this. Um, that is actually pretty useful because when you're switching from one mode to the other mode, it's a lot easier when you can just press a button, just press that button over there, and then just rotate the whole, the whole head. And you can't do that with something else. So it has um, 90 degree, it does it in 90 degree increments. Also, it's very satisfying to go ahead and use the, the telephoto and a wide angle. It's very responsive. 
and it's very immediate. Connection's really good. That's actually a big plus for this. You know, if, you, if you're worried about whether or not once it's connected, whether or not it's going to be responsive, there's going to be delay. You know, this is just as responsive as the wired version. I think if you're really just going to be doing self-logging and you're okay with holding the camera out, you know, various at, at arm's length, uh, this is going to be obviously the easier choice, right? As long as you can handle the size difference and you know you don't have a problem carrying it around, because what, what use is it if you leave it at home, right? And you're going to be vlogging with it and rotating the camera outward to the left, to the right, or to the back. This is easily the better choice. And plus, for if you're getting the whole package together, just for an extra $100, you get this guy and the 64 uh, gigabyte Sony super fast SD card at the same time. It's a no brainer. Go for the package. I went for the package. I'm not going to have any regrets whatsoever. Now, if you're getting this completely separately, of course, you want to make sure that it's going to be compatible with your camera and make sure it's one of the newer ones. Um, and you know, make sure you purchase from a place where you have 30 days to go ahead and try it out. I gotta warn you that this is somewhat hefty, right? If you wanna travel really light, this does not feel really light. This feels as heavy as a secondary pocket camera. But it's gonna hold your full frame camera just fine. Just don't use the 2.8 zoom lenses, you know, 70 to 200, forget that. That's just not gonna work out well with that. But if you're hand holding it, you want a nice, simple, quick remote control release, um, and you need something that's somewhat stable, particularly okay and fine to use with your new ZV-1, yeah, get it, get it. If you're interested in getting this, please check out my links down below. I really appreciate it. Give this a like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.